there's scientific evidence today to show that we may be hitting the ceiling of what the Earth, our home and the base for our modern economy, can sustain without causing surprise and potentially catastrophic outcomes for humanity. So the question is, are we destabilizing the entire planet? Earth is actually lulling us into a comfort zone. It's doing everything it can to stay in the equilibrium where it has been for the last 10,000 years, which is the only state we know that can support human development. The modern, globalized, consumption-based economy is hitting the ceiling and causing major impacts. What are the processes in the environment that we have to deal with and cater for at the global scale to allow Earth to support the modern economy? In that context, science has developed a new framework that we've called planetary boundaries. The analogy uh, can be brought down to our own human body. At 41 or 42 degrees Celsius of body temperature, we also change state from a living state to a dead state, a very distinct tipping point. So the planetary boundary is placed at the 38 degrees Celsius equivalent of body temperature, which is the point when you enter a danger zone. It may surprise you that among those nine proposed boundaries is not only climate change, it's not only stratospheric ozone, which are obviously global, it's also the slow variables of biodiversity loss, land use change, freshwater use, which control the underlying resilience and the stability of their system. All the nine boundaries actually interact. Whether we like it or not, we cannot deal with one thing at a time. You know, when ice melts, it consumes energy. So the, the day when the ice is gone, the ocean heat will start truly impacting on the atmosphere. So this is a, a new panorama of global risks on the environmental stage, which is not only about the environment, but is really about linking to society. We're starting to see effects on extreme weather events, particularly when it comes to droughts and floods, which are influencing the world market price of food, which in turn propels riots and, and unrest in many of the poorest urban regions in the world. So suddenly you can no longer talk of environmental issues here and social issues here. Democracy, growth and ecology are today entirely intertwined and, and interdependent. 196 countries now need to somehow move very fast in the same direction. It is something more about leadership at the global scale and, and, and how to achieve that I think is the big, big question. I think the time is so opportune right now to rethink some of our governance assumptions at the international level. And this can be done even on an open market. So for example, a global carbon tax or a, a, a very strong cap and trade system. So business as usual is, is not the future. We need major transformative change. My idea, based on science, is that humanity needs a great transition to global sustainability within the safe operating space of planetary boundaries. A new insight challenging science and challenging societies for a safe future.